Hi, I'm Teresa, and I know this sounds bad, but I'm in love with my mom's husband, Paul. Paul is my stepdad. My real dad took off after my younger sister was born. I was only five, so I don't remember much about him. Growing up, Paul's the one who was always there for us. Sure, he took out the trash, mowed the lawn, and did other dad stuff, but it was more than just that. He was always interested in what I was up to, and that made me feel special. But when I was about 14, my feelings for Paul started to change. Whenever he hugged me, or his hand accidentally brushed mine, I felt something different deep inside. That's when I realized I was attracted to him. I tried to talk to the school counselor about it. I told her how I'd leave my bedroom door open a little at night and peek through the gap, trying to catch a glimpse of Paul when he came out of the shower. She said it was just a phase, and that I'd probably grow out of it as I got older. But I didn't. So, to distract myself, I started dating boys my age from school. Who's the lucky guy? Paul would ask teasingly, whenever I announced that I had a new boyfriend. I hope he's good enough for you, he'd say, encouraging me to set my standards high. But none of them ever made me feel the way Paul did, and that became a problem. Because I started thinking about Paul more and more, I'd imagine him holding me and telling me he loved me instead of Mom. In my head, I knew it was incredibly selfish and very, very wrong, but I couldn't stop. Sometimes, I feel like I had this angel sitting on one shoulder, telling me to ignore my feelings. But on my other shoulder, the devil was in my ear, telling me to flirt with Paul and see if he responded. The two were constantly battling right up until last week, when Paul came home late on Friday after going out for drinks with friends. Mom had gone to bed early, but I was still up watching a movie when he staggered in and plonked down on the couch beside me. How's my little Teresa? he asked, stretching out and putting one arm around my shoulders. It felt nice being that close to him, so I leaned back into his arm while we chatted for a bit. Then Paul asked about my boyfriend. He's okay, but I don't think it'll last much longer. He's pretty immature. I need a man, like you, I told him. Paul pulled his arm out from behind me and slowly turned to look at me. He reached over and gently lifted my chin with his hand. Our eyes locked. He bent his head towards mine, and I closed my eyes. In my head, I knew this was it, the moment I'd been waiting for. I took a deep breath, smelt the sweet stench of beer, and then it happened. <laughs> my eyes flicked open in disbelief. Shocked, I watched as Paul stood up and clumsily headed upstairs. I must have sat there for like twenty minutes crying before I finally went up to bed. Paul spent most of the next day outside, doing yard work, probably trying to avoid me. But I needed to talk, so I made him a sandwich for lunch and took it out with a glass of ice water. Awkwardly, I sat down beside him while he ate. How do you feel after last night? I asked. Not too bad now, but I woke up with the biggest hangover, he said. I shouldn't have drunk so much. Paul handed me his empty plate said, thanks, sweetheart, and went back to trimming the hedges, like nothing had ever happened. I love Paul so much, but I'm confused. I don't know how he feels, or if he even remembers what he did. He was pretty drunk. Should I keep trying to talk to Paul, or just forget it even happened? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.